Yo, welcome in, fellas, fellas, fellas. So today right here, I'm going to be crafting. I actually have 105 sets for caster amulets. This is on my single player, and I really need them bad. I need to get some FCR and some skill stuff. I finally got my character up to level 93. I'm not going to go into all the minutia about it, but if you're level 93, every amulet that you craft using this crafting recipe, you have a chance to get two to a character skill on it. So that's what I'm hoping for, two to character skill. And hopefully you can get up to 20 faster cast rate. Hopefully I get that giant max of 20, but I'll take anything in between because I just need some of them right now. I'm going to go gamble these amulets from Geeds because that's how you get the amulets to use for this recipe. You gamble them from somebody. That way they're the right level to, like I said, get the two to skill. So I'll be right back and I'll go get these. All right, here we go. I got a bunch over here. I got a bunch over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. It might start off a tad slow until I can start quick sending a little bit of stuff. Uh, 10 FCR with nothing else on it. If we get a little bit of room, it'll it'll speed up. Maybe I'll just cut some stuff here too. Uh, one to Paladin. Uh, I'm only gonna hang on to I'm gonna hang on to some stuff right off the bat here, just in case I don't get better. Um, but a one 110 isn't really that great. But for now, I'm gonna hang on to it. Uh, if I get an amulet better than that, which I probably will, will hopefully do shortly, I'll just toss that out. But. Defensive auras, complete trash. There, get a, get a little space there. Now we can move a little bit more. One to barb with the FCR with magic find. So man, if it had two, that'd be like just a classic one for the pit circuit. But we'll hang on to it. Like I said, just for now, uh, best we got so far. Because this is the first crafting I have done on single player at all. Offensive auras. Nope, we'll toss that out. We got Masteries, 10 all res with a, so, nope, not on that one either. So in my life, I've never gotten a 220, so I'm kind of due here, huh, fellas, fellas, fellas? Kind of due. Smart move, Phil, good job. No skill on that one, 10 all res. Give me that skill. One, a sorceress one that's, it's not a bad looking one. One to Sork with a eight FCR and nine, nine res, but that's not gonna be great either. But just like I said, best so far, just cause I haven't done a lot of crafting, but in general, those ones aren't gonna have really any value there. Uh, elemental 73 to mana, kind of neat, but just one to a skill tree like that. I would just go ahead and pass obviously, cause that's what I did. Another high mana 75, but pass with magic skills. No big deal to me. Uh, no skill, pretty much automatic Audi. Another offensive auras. Thanks, thanks, guy. Another one to Paladin. Uh, everything else on there is just the standard stuff that comes on it. Not much more. So I mean, it's even probably worse than that. Five. It's like neither one of them all that great, but. That one's even less greater, I guess you could say. <laughs> Nothing, no, no skill, once again. What are you doing to me, game? Oh, there's a two-skiller, wow. A two-skiller with dual leech. Um, yeah, assassin, not particularly, maybe you're making some kick assassin or something. Or, uh, I don't know, a dual, dual leech, it is a two to skills with FCR, so We'll definitely hang on to it. I'm not mad that I got it, but it's not crazy. Dual Leech is kind of cool. Uh, a, a different uh, class there would have been cooler, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Here's a summoning. I do have a decent summoning one already. I don't know how good it was, though, but this one's got a little magic find. And the poison res is actually important because uh, the poison damage in some places can be pretty wicked. Uh, it seems like it's more wicked nowadays than it used to be. I don't know, maybe it's just a figment of my imagination, I'm sure. But it's just a 7 FCR, so it's kind of right in the mid-range for that 5 to 10 on the standard roll. Oh, it's a Summoning Druid. I thought that was Summoning Necro. Well, Summoning Druid's uh, not all that great, but uh, I thought about dabbling around with one. Well, I'll probably chuck that out in like two minutes, but I'll hang on to it for now. Nothing great, but I'll hang out of it. Ooh, nice, nice little Necro one. Okay, two to skills. The six FCR, so nothing great, nothing crazy. Uh, but 
Yeah, we'll hang out of that. Another two skiller. We gotta hang out of that one. Yeah, the summoning druid. I'll just toss it. I don't know what I'm, what I'm even worried about. Sometimes at the beginning of the videos, I start uh, the beginning of the sessions. I start reaching like, ooh, maybe I'll keep this one, and it's just something that'll clog up my inventory forever. So we'll just toss that out. Two to summoning for the druid once again, but frost nova charges. Ooh. Uh, one to cold skills with really nothing else on there of any note. Nothing, garbage, trash oh, trash oh, trash oh. Yeah, hopefully that transfers over, huh? That's how it works, right? Oh, nope, that did not. But this one got 15 FCR, though. <sighs> That's too bad. Um, 15 FCR. That, that's going to be another one I'll just hang on to if it's the best I got for now. Uh, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Did get over the, uh, you know, the minimum FCR there. There's another 15er. But no skill on it, so just go ahead and toss that. It's tough to get it all to roll together. It really is. It really is. So you just got to... It's all a numbers game. All a numbers game. The more you do, the better, the better uh, opportunity you got. Poison and Bone with 18 to all res. Not bad, just 7 FCR, but we'll hang on to that one too as a uh, one up here. Kind of the one I'll hang on to if I do a Poison and Bone. 18 all res is pretty good. I mean, you gold find Necro, not really a big deal. I just, single player gold finding, not my favorite favorite thing to do, but uh, that it does have the 80% gold find on it as well. One to Necro, so we'll toss that out. I got better, better than that already. True to shape shifting for the druid once again. Get that trash out of here. Not a bad two to sorceress. A little bit of a uh, little bit of poison on it. Not a ton. Not crazy, but a two to sorceress skills nonetheless. So get that one knocked out here. Just a little, yeah, just a little poison. All the other stuff low. Gold find once again. Cool, but not really that cool. Uh, one to paladin. Can't remember. We have one to Paladin up here. One to Paladin with ten, so probably better. The other one's probably probably a little bit better. Not that it's a big deal either way. One to Necro with eight all res. We'll toss it out because I know we got a two already. Trash one to Summoning. I seem to be short a Jewel. I know I got a couple extra over here. So we'll rock it out. Oh, and no good. 56 cold res. Uh, a lot on the cold res, I suppose. But a few uh, keepers here. We'll go ahead and jump. I got a whole nother page. So we're not going to wait around too long. I just got to go pick up some more amulets. So I'll be right back. All right. Grab these and throw them in here. Once again, yeah, it does go a little slow at the start till I get moving here. But uh, okay, two, two, five. A wee bit of dex. Uh, poison res is up there. We'll, st we'll just keep them on this page over here. So another assassin one with 10 all res, high poison. Two to skills. Um, this is the other one I had to uh, two to assassin, dual leech. Kind of interesting, but you gotta get that 220 still, right? Fellas, 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 come on. Ah. 10, 22 magic find because I, I mean I'm, a, I'm on single player primarily magic finding like holy grail and type of stuff so magic find is kind of important to me more important than it would normally be on uh online when a lot of times it can be like pvp stuff that, that ends up having a lot more value actually get rid of that real quick Ooh, a not bad two to sorceress two two eight, with just a little bit of fire res. At least on, on the sorceress, at least five or five or six will will end up with. If you get on a certain break point, you'll fall short of the one seventeen. So it's at least a little bit better than a five or a six, I guess. Getting an eight, but chance of frost nova save your life one time on accident, maybe. Who knows? A, uh, we'll call it a mediocre uh, caster amulet there. Two to druid now with a little bit extra life and poison res once again. So another two to skill. We're getting quite a few, quite a few two to skills here, kinda. 
so we got a couple of sorceresses. All right, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it rolling. I think it's it's not going too bad, but yeah, I haven't got super lucky yet. That's for sure. Just uh just a bunch of mediocre type amulets, and then a lot of bad ones too. Mediocre and bad. Let's go to the paladin. St stick with me. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Read elemental. See another one like that. Two to poison and bone. Eighteen to all res. I think I had a similar one to that a second ago, right? Two to poison and bone. Eighteen to all res. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, just a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more on the faster catch rate and life leech. So, but this one also does have that monster poison res too. So, yeah, I mean they're pretty much similar. Kind of neat, but also kind of meh. Kind of meh. Another two to Necro. Okay, with a big fat 20 to Dex. So that, that's a cool large amount of Dex right there. You already have Necromancer, so yeah. Um, probably better. Yeah, better. Well, it's, it's one less, uh, whatchamacallit, faster cast rate, FCR. But, and it does have Lightning Rest too. So, it is what it is. Another alright uh, Necromancer one. So, getting a little bit here, getting a little bit going. Let's keep it going. Uh... 11019. I think that's probably the best barb I got so far, so we'll hang on to that too. Um Yeah, did we not get any like barbarian ones yet? That's crazy. That's the best one. 110 19 to strength, 18 all res. Not bad. If only it had the two skills, right? You say that say that time and time again. If only it had something like that on it. But I'm not gonna keep a magic one like that. Okay, if you're cold sorceress, 38 to life, 20 to all res. So another one of those deals. That's not a bad one either. So a lot of them I kind of want to... Since it's my first crafting session, it's going to be a little bit extra I'm going to hang on to. Because I don't have a ton of good options. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these. Like, man, this guy's an idiot. Toss that out, even though I hadn't got a lot of barbarian ones yet. We're, we're going to get better than that, fellas, fellas, fellas. Another 10 FCR... 58 to mana, 25 to magic fine, but it got all the stuff I wanted to get if it had the two skills on it, kind of, sort of. Once again, holy moly. That's like the, not literally perfect, but like exactly what I'm looking for with the skills, though. I do want to get the higher, faster cast rate as well, though. The Like, for sorceress, you want to get like 17 plus, so you can get that 117 breakpoint, hopefully, but there's a good two to barb, a bunch of uh, mana and energy and stuff, I guess. Not super useful particularly energy man i mean it's better to have it than to not have it but i would rather have it been other stuff but nine fcr so we'll take it so as long as i mainly hope hopefully get the uh, two to skills for every character i'm almost there so almost there a couple more we still need to get but i would really really like that 17 plus for a sorceress too though 17 uh, FCR. Getting close to being done with the first... Uh, I don't remember how many... What was that? 43 on a page, maybe? So, almost got... Getting close to having 80 of them down. Maybe about... Getting close to 70, actually, but... Another trash there. One to Paladin. Um, did I get any with two to Paladin yet over here? No, I did not. So, it is pretty similar to the other Paladin one, so we'll just throw it up there. I'll look a little close later. I don't want to waste a bunch of time on a mint amulet. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, toes crossed, that I'm going to get a better one than that, than that anyways. So, 22 to strength, but need something better on it. No, a bunch, bunch of stuff that isn't all that great. Uh, nothing again. No skill. No skill. All right. All right. No big deal. Can't get skills on all of them. Can't get skills on all of them. Or any of them, for that matter. Or any of them, for that matter. No skill again. It's quite a few in a row where I did not get a skill. Did I pick up that amulet accident? I sure did. Sure did. That means the luck's going to come back to me here any second. Any second. Not yet. Boy. 
little little dry streak here. I feel like I, I did get a good luck streak there with two of the skills. Now I'm getting a little unlucky streak here, but come on, game, you can help me out. Okay, two to Amazon with a little FCR. We got 59 to life. The max roll on the mana for the standard roll, that is, anyways. So there we go. I got a... We got six of the characters now. Still looking for a two to Paladin. Just hoping I can get at least... At least that, I suppose. You want at least one of each, you know, two to uh, every single character. I mean, I'm still going to do more of these in the future anyways, but I'm kind of hoping to get something like that. Yeah, one to Barb, 18 to All Res. So I'm pretty sure I had a, a Barb better than that. Yeah, it doesn't have All Res, but maybe I'll keep the Barb up here with the All Res just in case that really matters for me at some point. But I got another one, 18 All Res anyways, with 19 to Strength. So we'll just toss that out. It does have Gold Find, but like I said, I never Gold Find on this in a single player anyways. It's like... Not really a need with auto gold pickup. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more amulets, get the other uh, pack, finish that off, and uh, then we'll pretty much be done. I got like maybe 20 left or so. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff. All right, let's throw these in here. Let's get ready to rock it. Uh, ooh, 85 to mana. But <clears throat> as usual, no skill. Uh, no skill, just a bunch of trash on that one. Two to Necro, 10 FCR. Okay, uh, the other stuff's pretty low. Not a whole lot more rocking on it, but another two to skill, so we'll hang on to it. Keep her rocking. Super mega mediocre. It's pretty much the worst possible uh, two to skills you can get. See, this is unfortunate. Sometimes you get the 95 level requirement, and the, it's fine on this one because it's a bad amulet, but if you get a 95 on some amulet you want to use on, like, your sorceress or something and take you like seven years to get that high a level so but that was trash anyways but it's unfortunate when that happens sometimes it depends on uh, certain things that, that roll on it will cause that to happen nope not on that one oops i did not grab the right object and we got a two wow yeah there we go i was looking for the two to paladin 216 everything else on it is meh but that's all right, a 216, I don't remember the breakpoint necessary for a Paladin, but I don't remember it offhand. Uh, maybe Sweet Phil, uh, editor guy, will put it up here, what it needs to get at, but uh, 16 is not a bad amount at all. So we'll, we'll take that, that's juicy, juicy. I like it. So uh, we've got, are we short one Amethyst? Do I have an extra one over here? Huh, I don't know what happened here. Got a little bit, a uh, little bit off, but we'll hang on to them right here. We'll move on to the next page. Maybe we'll get a few more sick ones like that before the end of this video. Pretty much guaranteed, right, fellas? Pretty much guaranteed. One to Druid. No, 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 no. A long list of stuff. <laughs> The long list of things that don't help me out. Another summoning for the Necromancer. I'm all set on Necromancing Necromancer Summoner uh, amulets, so no skill, all res on it. But once again, not getting everything I need. Uh, barb right there. I got better barbs now for sure. No need to hang on to anything like that. Ooh, another two to Paladin. This one's just ten. But it's got seven to all res. Uh, a little bit of magic find too, since I'm on single player. Primarily a, uh, you know, magic finder, holy grail, or whatever you want to call it. So that's not too shabby. Right there, getting the, the max on the standard roll of 10 FCR. Because on the actual caster amulet, you get five to 10 FCR, and then magic amulets or amulets that you roll can get up to 10 FCR. So that's how you end up with the, the greater than uh, tens, you know what I mean? Another two to Barb, okay. A Barb amulet with teleport charges. Interesting. Uh, not going to be that crazy, really, but I mean... Uh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. On single player, that doesn't help you out a whole bunch, especially when I got Enigma already. I'll, I mean, when would I be using a Barb and I would want to teleport and not use the Enigma? Am I right? But, uh... Yeah. 
that's kind of neat. Everything else on it, not not too noteworthy, but 18 cast rate, 18 all res. Come on, bro. Got to get that sorceress skills on that one. And uh, due to curses. Nope, nope, nope. Just a one to necro. At the end here, you know, you get so used to seeing uh, seeing bad stuff that you just get a little disheartened. But it's always good, uh, good, good, good. Get night level ninety five on an ammo that's no good. Don't want to waste it. Don't want to see that dreaded uh, good ammo that has a super high level requirement. One to necro is sixteen. Nope, we definitely for sure got better than that and I'm probably gonna end up all but very rare occasions I'll probably end up getting rid of any of those one to skills and stuff that I had uh, I just kept them at the beginning because you never know how it's gonna roll I ended up getting already two to every single character uh, on an amulet so that's pretty nasty so far at least I got a good variety I didn't get like nine or twelve uh, you know two to assassin skills or something you never want that one to sorceress, everything else pretty meh. So, getting close here, getting close to the end. Looks like we got about 15 or 20 left. I didn't count exactly here, but uh, yeah, looks like maybe 15 or so. Another two to necro, uh, pretty meh on the other stuff. A little dex is cool, I guess, but nothing crazy. We got another necromancer one there. We got a few more. I'm gonna have to. It looks like I'm gonna have to go pick up a couple of more amulets to finish this up, but that's no big deal. Uh, one to paladin on the other stuff. No, we'll just go ahead and toss that out at this point for sure. Since I got some pretty sick ones. No skill. I actually picked up one I didn't mean to. Nope. We'll throw one more in here before I have to go get a couple of more amulets to wrap it up. Uh, lightning skills, nope. All right, I just bought some real quick. It looks like I bought a few extra, no big deal, but I made sure I got enough. Uh, shadow disciplines, sick. Not really. We've got shape shifting once again, nope. Another one of those skills that you don't really care. Need that, uh, need that rune. Nope. More shadow disciplines. Got the last couple here. The last chances. Ah. And 56, 15. Unfortunately, no. And the very last one here, we got nothing on it. So a super quick recap. These are just one skill ones that I'm probably going to end up tossing out unless they have uh, the super high faster cast rate on them, which none of them really do. Uh, nothing noteworthy there, but we got two assassin ones uh, that got one's got some good all res on it with some poison. The other ones uh, dual leech, kind of interesting, kind of interesting. But over here we got four necros. One's meh. This one's got 20 decks, which is pretty high. Uh, this one's pretty meh, meaning not all that great, but it's still got two necros with castrate and that one as well. So a bunch of mediocre necro ones. Kind of luck of the draw, but that's okay. We got a couple of sorceress ones here. Um, Nothing real great on him either, just a little bit of resistances and that's about it, not a whole lot. Druid skills here, once again, not a whole lot of great stuff on it, a little bit, of, a good amount of life I suppose in the poison res. A bunch of mana on this barb one, maybe for uh, a singer or something, you need a little bit extra mana, you do kind of hog through mana with a, with a singer barb I suppose. So that can be useful there, good good use. Uh, and also we got a two to barbarian skills with teleport charges on it so that's kind of interesting too but on single player when you already got enigma that could be a big deal for me uh one amazon uh two skill amulet here but it's big 59 to life is good but not a whole lot of else on that one two paladin ones this is probably the best one out of all of them i suppose just because it has the 16 faster cast rate so that's a pretty solid amulet wish it had magic a little bit more on it but you know beggars can't choosers you get what you get and then this one that's got, uh, it actually does have the all res and the magic find on it, but a little bit lower 
on the cast rate. So I'll have to see how it falls if I don't need the extra cast rate or whatever. I can use this one as opposed to the other one. Well, how do you think I did? You think I got lucky or whatever? Head down in the comments below and let me know. Don't forget before you go hit the like button and subscribe up if you haven't done that already. But if you watched the video this long, you probably already did. Peace out, fellas. And don't forget, keep slaying.